Well, as another year is rapidly drawing to its conclusion, I'm out once again in my usual haunt in the heart of Mid Wales in order to try and capture what might be my last camera trap image of the year. And what better time to do it than amongst all the beautiful colours that this time of year has to offer. As always, you can expect all the usual trials and tribulations that camera trapping always seems to throw your way, but stick around and not only will I be sharing with you what is probably my favourite image I've ma managed to capture this year, but I will also be proving to you that the old proverb of a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush is quite literally very true when I introduce you to a new feathered friend of mine. Hi, welcome back. Good to see you again. Hope you're well. Um, I'm back again in an old haunt. I'm just a stone's throw away from where I was in the last video, um, which was just behind me uh, on the bank. And I, I had some. Ni I had a couple of nice shots of the badgers after after about a week and a half of the setup being there. And as soon as I took it down from there, I came and set it up back here because I wanted to try and take advantage of the autumnal colours and. Uh, they're still going on. I, I've had this here for five weeks now, this setup, uh, up against this lovely backdrop uh, that I've used in the past. Um, those of you regular viewers, you might remember, I had it set up just the other side of this fallen tree uh, last year. Um, and I just ended up with one photo really, which, which wasn't the best. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd, I'd come back and, and put the camera trap back up again because it, uh, it's such a lovely spot and uh, with all these autumn leaves around and autumn colours I thought it's, it's just too good too good a, a, an opportunity to miss really like I say it's been set up for five weeks now I've got a three light set up I've got a main light just above well as you're looking at uh, above the camera's left pointing down into the archway I've got a fill light just to the camera's right uh, just putting a little, little bit of fill light into the into the shadows, and I've got uh, a light at the back just shining through the arch, just to throw a, just a little a bit of a rim light really, just add add some more depth and dimension. Uh, and in the last week, I've set up a fourth light. I don't think I've ever had a camera trap set up where I've used four lights, but. Um, I'll show you later, uh, I've got one or two pictures and you can see that it's just a little bit dark in the background so I thought I'd put a fourth light in and what I've done I've put, I put a quarter daylight gel, a very very subtle blue gel on it uh, just to make it look a little bit more you know, night timey and I've just shone it onto the, the trees and the bank behind me uh, just to add a little bit more depth to the image because uh, like I say it was, just looks the photos I've got with the badges, they look, they look like they're coming out of a cave. It's just totally black behind them, so I thought I'd uh, put a little bit of light in the background just to try and add, a, add another dimension. So, um, like I say, it, I've had so many nearly shots on this, uh, on this setup. I've had badges that have... Um, I've got quite a few butt shots. Uh, they're just coming in through the wrong way. Um, I've had a few where they're just um, just walking out of shot as, as the camera's fired. It's fired a little bit too late. I've even had them, uh, as you can see, on this bit of trail camera footage. Um, I've even had them walking right through the arch, just exactly as they should do, and the camera didn't fire. I'm not sure why. Maybe 
it was conditions, I don't know, everything was firing fine, but for some reason it didn't fire, which was quite frustrating really, because I've been getting quite a few false triggers from the mice, you know, the mice have been triggering it, triggering the camera uh, trap, but um, a, badger, a badger walks through right where it should do, and, and for some reason it didn't go off, but there we are. Um, it's just, I can't explain it. That's just how things go sometimes. But, um, I'm, like I say, I've been here five weeks now with this setup. I've been coming back, back into regular, um, to maintain, maintain the setup, change the batteries, uh, quite regular. So regularly, in fact, that, uh, the local birds have learned about the peanuts I carry around in my pocket. And uh, they often form a welcoming party for me for when I arrive. She's keen today. Hello. Come on then. <laughs> How's about that? There's a male coming down, but he's not as bold as the female. Come on. I've only just recently started feeding them again and uh, these are not garden birds, these are, these are really <laughs> it's a really quite a remote area here so um, <clears throat> I put a few peanuts down for them, I, I'm always here regular most dinner times I work I work not, not far away and uh, I come with the dogs and obviously set the camera gear up but um, I always used to put a few peanuts down for the birds uh, last winter and I've only recently started doing it this year and this uh, I've got one really bold female great tit who's as soon as I arrive here she, she's there waiting waiting for her peanuts come on then come on then here you are here you are here it comes come on What a treat, eh? Oh no, a wild bird feed out your hand. It's something pretty special. It really is. Maybe the nut hatches are getting brave now. These nut hatches are getting very close to taking food out of my hand and I think it's only a matter of time before before one does. He just can't quite pluck the courage up. Come on Nutty. Right, onto the camera trap, let's see. I think the badges have been. I've got a couple of stones down here uh, and underneath it I, I put a, just a few peanuts for them and um, I haven't been for a couple of days and I've come here today and I've noticed the stones have been turned over so I think the badges have been here but um, we'll just have to check check the camera trap and see if they've if they've walked through and, and triggered the camera trap so uh, let's, let's have a look Well, thankfully, the badges did come under the arch from the right direction on a couple of occasions. Sadly, this image was ruined because the front element of the camera housing had unfortunately fogged up, as it sometimes does during the night. But on just one occasion, finally, everything came together and I was finally rewarded with what was not just my best shot from this setup, but what is possibly my favourite image that I've managed to capture uh, this year. I also got a consolation image of a couple of rabbits that came to visit and of course no camera trap project would be complete without the local sheep getting involved at some stage. It's getting to the point now where I'm not really seeing a lot of activity, I'm just going to give it a few more days. It's a Friday today, I think I'll give it till early next week and um, if I've got no success then maybe I'll think about uh, 
I'll think about setting up somewhere else. Just to the side of me here, there's, there's a potential nice image from the other side. If you see, I've had quite a little, quite a bit of trail camera footage as the badgers are using using this gap to go to go down off the bank. And I thought if I set my camera up the other side, it might make a nice uh, might make for a nice shot. So I may move it there. I don't know yet. We'll see see if we have any success here in the next few days, and uh, we'll take it from there. So I'll see you in a bit. I left the camera out for another full week, by which time winter had arrived with a vengeance. The recent overnight temperatures were down to around minus seven or so, and what little badger activity had been going on had ceased altogether. And with the cold weather forecast to last another week or so, I decided it was time to take the setup down. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll leave you with another look at my best image it may, it may have taken six weeks and a fair amount of work to get to get it but uh, i think it was well worth the effort in the end hopefully i'll catch you up with you again so sometime soon but in the meantime thanks for watching